as, Why don't as, we have a commission uh, that, uh, of course, <coughs> a commission of inquiry that then would look into the extrajudicial killings, now that you mentioned the Rivayala cases and as well the involvement of Ipoa and Imlus and all that. I already had a thorough meeting with the Ipoa and we have agreed with them that it is not necessary for me to establish another task force when Ipoa is there and it is squarely within their mandate to tell us how did Kenyans end up being killed in this manner. And then it was business as usual. 30 bodies in Yala, 17 bodies in Garissa. I don't know how many bodies were. You know, people, you know, we, we, there, there, was a, there was a container here at, uh, at, at the Nairobi area. People were being slaughtered in a police station. How did we end up there? You know, what, ki what kind of... What, what kind of rogue, you know, institution? And that is why I fired that Kenoti man, you know, because, I mean, it's, it's not right, good people. Should there be responsibility more than just firing? Of course, there will be responsibility. He did not resign? You fired him? <laughs> we'll have another. <laughs> okay, can, 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 can we move this forward, Your Excellency? Yeah, yeah. Since you're talking about uh, security and talk about what we have involved in DR Congo, we have interest in Somalia. What's...